Well, let's do it again, Holly. Let's make it a weekly thing. Sorry, you're all stuck here. Oh, wait, I'm not by you. Okay, if you guys just want to come and feel comfortable to so get to this remote, because you are there. And you can have a one if you want. If you're not comfortable, you're all athletes, so maybe you can bend at the knees. I'm going to ask you not to talk while I'm talking, though. I want you guys to find some quiet in your brain. Okay? If you are athletes, you're doing this right now. Some of you, how many freshmen you have there? So all of this life-changing things are happening to you right now, right? Some of you are a really long ways from home. Some of you um, have classes that you never taken before. Just well, most of you probably have classes you never taken before. Pretty stressful, right? Okay. So I'm gonna try to give you some tools. First off, yoga is not a competition. You guys compete all the time. You compete for grades, you compete with yourself, you compete with each other, you compete with other teams. You guys are in competitive sports, okay? I want you to let that go right now. Yoga is not a competition. Yoga is for you, it's your own practice, okay? Nobody sees your grade, nobody gives you a grade. This is for your own health and your benefit. And someday, I'm gonna get on a soapbox right now, someday you won't have this. Okay? You will either age out of being able to be a volleyball player or a basketball player, or you will get to the end of the road and not make it pro or whatever. I mean, the likely, or even if you do go pro, there will be an end to that someday. And you will no longer have a coach telling you what to do and pushing you to stay in shape. So you have to find your own practice. You have to find something to make you feel good. So if you find that in yoga, great. If not, you have to find it somewhere. Hopefully it's not losing it up and, or whatever, okay? Your body through your temple, you get one of these. So your knees are gone, they're gone, okay? Your lungs are gone, they're gone. You have one shot at this body. So you gotta take care of it. And if you can find that through yoga, awesome. If not, find something, some other healthy means of taking care of your All right, I'll get off my soapbox. So once you're in, comfortable seated position. Um, this hurts my knees, but some of you can go into half lotus. I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, some of you may not even be comfortable with your legs crossed because you don't have the flexibility. That's fine. We all have different shaped hip sockets, so our mobility is all different. That's the other reason I'm telling you. You're not in competition, okay? You don't have to be as good as the girl next to you or think you are as good. Everybody's built different, so you're all going to have different abilities in yoga, okay? It's not like shoot free throws where everybody's supposed to be 100%, right? That's not yoga, okay? So comfortable seated position. This is called Sukhasana, okay? We're gonna put our hands on our knees and just stretch your wrists back, okay? And I know not everyone will be comfortable with this, so I'm gonna ask you to shut your eyes. And we're just gonna focus on our breathing for a second. Just gonna take a nice deep breath through our nose, and try to count to at least seven. We want a nice, slow, deep breath. And then exhale. I want tall backs. I want your collarbones spreading apart. Bring your shoulders down away from your ears. Make your abdomen nice and tall and like stretch through the crown of your head. You're gonna take another nice, deep breath. If you can't make it all the way to seven, that's fine. Slow your breathing down and just focus on your breath. I want you to be present right here on your mat. Think about your body and how your body feels. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody cares how you're doing this. Just get present. We're not worried about the assignment that's due on Monday. We're not worried about what we did in practice. We're not worried about the shot we just missed or the serve that went in the net. on our mats, checking in with our own bodies. And stretch your palms back around your knees so you get a nice wrist stretch. Off your sit bones, so you're kind of like right down on your hip bones there. 
So when this is here, we're going to stretch our neck. Left ear to left shoulder. The right hand under the sit bone. And that nice long breath that we started with our eyes closed. You can have your eyes closed here if you want to. Now that you've seen what we're doing. Nice deep breath. Stretch all that tension on your deltoids. Three nice deep breaths. And slow your breathing out. And on the exhale, bring your chin down. Down and roll your neck. Chest is up. Do you 
need to hear that spine a lot back. And then on the exhale, relax again the forward fold. Hands to the chin, hands or fingertips, wherever you're at, flexibility wise. Flat back. Okay, now we're going to walk our hands out to down dog. Okay, and if you're not comfortable with down dog, and you haven't done this yet and your legs aren't warmed up, please don't straighten your legs yet. You're going to pedal your knees back and forth to let those hamstrings warm up. I feel like there's probably a lot of tightness here. But focus on your fingers and your hands first. Use your hands like they're little geckos and they're gripping the mat. So get those fingertips pressed into the mat. Really focus on your thumb, your pointer finger, and your middle finger. And the more you push there, the better it rotates your shoulders inward. Okay. And on the exhale, go ahead and drop your heels. If you can, that's okay. And if you have wrist problems, if you guys just drop your drop to tabletop really quick so you can look up here. If you have wrist problems or your wrists are tight, you can come into dolphin. It's going to be a little bit tighter on your hamstrings, so forearms down, and then you can go into down dog. It is a little bit more pressure on your um, on your hamstrings, but it's better on your wrist. So back to down dog. And if we can take one nice deep breath. And I'll get you out of here. Uh, look through your hands, looking forward. We're going to sweep our right foot forward in between our hands. So I think we'll drop after that morning. And if you'll drop our back knee down, drop the other foot down. We're going to go into a low line. Okay, make sure that your knee is not over your ankle. If you need to inch yourself back, that's okay. So you're more extended. You guys, as athletes, are all going to have very tight um, oh. flexors. So try to get that left leg out behind you. Keep your knees stacked over your ankle. You're gripping with your toes. Hands together on your knees. And we're going to offer our chest up.
one first. Arms raised above the head. We're still now we're in. Bring Still be bent. Still you 
Okay, if you have your blocks, we're gonna hinge from the hips, flat back, straight down. Whatever position you need it to be in to be comfortable. If you don't need it, you can get rid of it. Okay, on an inhale, we're gonna rise up with our right hand, looking at the ceiling. your own breath. Go right ahead. You can keep your core tight during this. Keeping your abs, your belly button trying to touch your backbone. And once you've got your five run, you can just come back to neutral. Bend your knees, slowly roll up. Good job, ladies. You can toss your blocks. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna ground 
our right leg. So hard weight on your heel. Spread those toes. Do nice little get toes. Your yogi feet. And grip your mouth with your toes. Okay? You can come here to your thigh or in front. This knee doesn't bother me and this is more comfortable. But if you are here and you're holding your leg in front of your hip, you can just bring one hand to your heart. Or if you want to, you can rise all the way up. Your call, whatever is comfortable for you. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Your sisters on your team, about your families at home. 
love you and support you or you would never be in college and you college support. Think about those things in your life.